Hey guys, it's Lauren. I'm here with two new friends. We have Berg and we have Swat. Swat has an incredible YouTube channel. He's a sport fisherman out of Turkey. So they're here in Miami visiting. I'm hoping to show you guys a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and they own VIP fishing tours. So you guys should definitely check it out. Follow them on Instagram and we're gonna get going. We just got some bait, right? Yeah, we got the bait. We got calamari and yeah. shrimp. Yeah. We couldn't find a live bait, but we're gonna try. We, yeah. I think we're gonna get it. Yeah, we got a little bit of a late start, so we couldn't find any live bait. But we got some regular bait, and I'm gonna be diving. They're gonna be fishing, so maybe we'll do a little competition. Competition, exactly. <laughs> you guys gonna win it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Wish us luck. So today started out super cloudy and a little rainy, but it's coming out to be a perfect day. Look at that. Hopefully the water visibility isn't too bad. It's been really windy lately for the past couple of weeks, so we'll see if we can actually see anything. If we can't dive, at least we have two badass fishermen. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> so no matter what, I'm sure we're gonna get something. So we're not gonna go hungry. <laughs> guys, guys, check out this insane rainbow. It's been raining all morning. Look at that. It's so vibrant. Crazy. Sashimi day, Pajas. Yeah, do you like sashimi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have a soya sauce also. Soy sauce, yeah. Uh, we can make sashimi right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <All right>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have to do that. Who is win? We will what? see. What? <laughs> Who's gonna win? We'll see, yeah. Who is Laura? Laura. <laughs> sure. What I did was. No, I'm not sure. She's really competitive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget who it was. That was in charge of uh, all the artificial leaps and runs. I looked at the just... website for days. All right, guys, we, we just got to the first spot. Here. We're gonna suit up, and then we get into my wetsuit. A lot of people ask me why I wear a wetsuit, and there's so many different reasons. So, first one is the sun it's trying to burn you. So if you have that extra protection, then you don't really have to worry about that. And then another reason is exposure to the water. I mean, even if the water's warm, right now it, I saw that it's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which a lot of people would consider warm, but it'll strip your body of heat really quickly. So if you don't have a wetsuit, you're gonna get super cold, you're gonna be shivering, you're not gonna be able to hold your breath very long. And then another reason is obviously protecting you from any structures or getting scratched. I mean, I've been bitten by so many fish. I, got, I still have a scar here. I don't know if you can see it. That's from a wonderful trigger fish that bit me. And I also got bit by a lobster. So wetsuits are just perfect for keeping you nice and warm and keeping you protected from jellyfish, different fish. I mean, the elements, so. Highly suggest wearing a wetsuit. You gotta wear it. Look at this turtle! Yeah, he dove down. So Burke was saying that in Turkey, it's a bad sign if you see turtles because then apparently the fish aren't biting. But whew, here in Miami, there's always turtles. Seagull is the Seagulls, oh, seagulls are a good sign for yeah. everyone. We got seagulls. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna get suited up now. Yeah. I catch this with this one. It's 30 kilogram amberjack. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah this These one. Are I have Japanese. videos in my channel. Yeah. Japanese. This one. This one. Yeah, Japanese. Japanese. Yamagatsu. Yamagatsu. It's my best hook. His never, favorite never hook. Never open. Never. Nice. I have a friend. This one. This size. This size. I catch uh, marlin. This year? Swordfish actually. Yeah. It's like 100, uh, 150 pounds. 150, wow. 160 pounds this swordfish. One. With That's this crazy. little hook. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... this after like after he put that on the video and the yeah. YouTube, it's all sold out in Turkey. You cannot find yeah. any no, gamagatsu no, no, no, no, in, in Turkey now. You cannot That's find. It. It's all sold all out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like next time don't tell anyone. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I have an incredible sponsor called Polo Sub Italy. They make all of my wetsuits custom made to my body. You guys can go onto their website and get a custom made suit from them. 
They're the best. What I like to do to put them on, since they're an open cell wetsuit, which means that they have raw neoprene on the inside, is that I use a mixture of hair conditioner and water, and also like to wet my body so that it's nice and lubricated. So that when I go to put on my wetsuit, it just slides right on, super nice, and I'm ready for my dive. Oh, it's cold! Oh. <laughs> Those two bull sharks came about as far away as I am from here. That's what it was like. Cool. Yeah, we got to be really careful. From the moment we jumped into the water, there were two big bull sharks on us. These are some of the most aggressive sharks in the ocean. They have a very high testosterone level and are very, very aggressive. When spearfishing around any type of shark, you want to be careful. You want to make sure that you get a good shot and you want to bring that fish up to you as fast as you can. What'd you get? 99 mother I don't know, I stole the f out of a jackpot. Pull it up, pull it up. Once you dispatch the fish, they're usually a little bit more calm, Ooh. but you just want to have a buddy there, making sure that everything's okay. Mm -hmm. If they need to fight it off, they'll be there for you. So that's oh, another yeah. reason why you should never dive alone. My buddy Mike shot this beautiful yellow jack, and here we have Swat preparing some delicious sashimi for us. Sashimi is basically any raw fish that you have with whatever toppings that you like. Today we had soy sauce on the boat that Brooke and Swat nice. brought, so we had it like that. It was so delicious. Oh, ah. yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. This Swat eat. Swat eat. Farka alumaz din lambalı da alıyor. İşte bu. İşte bu. Woohoo! Bu yaptığı için ne değiştirmek istedi? Şimdi göz değiştiriyor. Efendim? Evet. He's been dying to have the weight because we couldn't we couldn't put the bait down the the all the chumps the the, the little ones they're coming and getting the bait. Yeah. Lauren, you feel better now? No fisherman likes to admit, but the rough seas had gotten the best of me. I got really seasick. I started puking and I just really wasn't feeling great that day. On this dive, I still wasn't really feeling well, so I forgot to turn on my GoPro while I was down there. But I saw a bunch of muntins and porgies, but they weren't big enough to shoot, so I let them pass, and I decided to just go up. <sighs> Look like muntins everywhere. What? Muntins? And so I'm like, uh, Corgi? But that's at the sand. It's 71 feet. Bunları normalde salıyor arkadaşlar ama. Evet, evet. <gülüyor> let's see, let's see who's gonna get it first. Let's hope it's you. Let's hope it's you guys. You're neutral you, you already, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you come from too far not to get a fish. <gülüyor> Oh! 
Hey, learn. When you see it, shoot it. Cause I shot it badly. Okay. Why didn't you shoot it? Because you asked me to shoot yours! Arkadaşlar Arkadaşlar Bayrağı silin Silin <gülüyor> Alright guys So a little update I got a yellow jack And the sharks were like Well Mike said that there were a bunch of sharks Right? Yeah No I don't Big bull sharks I'm f***ing with big bull sharks Probably not supposed to curse <laughs> Yeah you're not supposed to curse <laughs> But yeah there were a bunch of bull sharks Hanging you'll around in, and then you'll be in. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying you lost? Yeah, oh, we lost. Yeah, we admitting yeah, we admitting defeat. defeat. Admitting defeat. Eighty million waiting hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but not then, bad. Now Jose and I jumped in and he got yeah, himself yeah. an AP. Nice. Let's Beautiful. go. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice one. Good one. Great one. Great relationship. Yeah. Thank you. Good fish. It was catch. Good job. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't even see what he shot. He just said, take take a second shot, take a second shot. So I dove down and I see like five or six more ones all swimming around it. And I was like, oh man. So I didn't shoot one so that I could save his. <laughs> We lost this. Very big one. Oh my God. Damn it. Did you cut the line? Cut the line? Maybe. Oh, I'm here getting undressed because I've been puking all day and I finally had enough but he thought he had something big he was really bending his rod guys I feel like such a, a wimp I'm not feeling well at all so I took off my wetsuit just got a little change and I'm laying down this sucks I usually just jump right back in the water, but it's the water's so cold and I brought too thin of a wetsuit, so it's really not keeping me warm enough. So I'm calling it a day. I got my yellow jack. We'll say I got a AP. Oh, I should have shot one instead of putting a second shot into his, but next time. Are you thankful at least? Not at all. <laughs> Could have gotten it without you shooting it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we call an mf -er. <laughs> No, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> But we're gonna see if we can get some fish on rod and reel, and then uh, we're gonna probably head back in, and I'm gonna show you guys how to cook the yellow jack that I love so much. I'm really f looking forward to showing you guys that. Show All right, I'm seeing if I can stand me up. But look at his setup. We didn't have any sinkers, so he's using he's using what he has. <laughs> I feel bad because when they reached out, I thought that maybe they were bringing their own gear. Because like when we go spear fishing, we always bring our own gear and all that. But they do sword fishing and all this sport fishing, so all of that equipment's way too heavy for them to be bringing with them on a plane. So next time they come, we're gonna set them up with the right gear so yes. that they can. They can definitely be more successful. So next time. Next time, bye. -o. So our friends here brought us some treats. They're traditional Turkish treats. And it looks like a wafer with chocolate inside. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. 
It's good. You like it? Thank you so much. You're Delicious. Are you sure you're Should hungry? You try the Turkish delight mm -hmm. as well. Sorry? We, the, the, now we bring you the Turkish delight. Yeah. Or should I try that one too? That's even much better. It's famous Turkish delight. So we're from Turkey. We bring. Mm -hmm. it. So how was the fishing experience? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good day, eh? No bueno, no bueno. Day fun day. Like, well, you catch, they like catch, uh, you catch also. Nothing. <laughs> with fish. This is very good, very, very good day. Look at these treats that they brought. Yeah, that's, nice. um, it's like cotton candy, but like, oh, it's yeah? good, yeah. So cool. And then this one? Dessert. This is the Turkish, Turkish delay. I don't know if I've ever tried this before. You've never tried it before? I don't I've know. I've tried them. They're you delicious. should try it. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's so good. <laughs> hazelnut? The one, the, this one is the hazelnut. Like it's good. It's good. Those are those banshee blades. Chef, these fillet knives that I got. He's a chef. He's a chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chef. <laughs> these fillet knives that I got, they're incredible. Yeah, they're super sharp. And they come in these really cool sheaths. I'll set the link below so that you guys can check them out. All right, guys, we have Jose filleting his African pompano. Nice plates. Beautiful, beautiful meat. And then I'm gonna take this one home, the one that I shot. I always keep the head. I love the head meat, so that's like a really important thing to me. I just really wanna keep every part of the fish that I possibly can. I'll link actually a a video that my friend made where he asked me and a couple other YouTubers and fishermen what our favorite parts of the fish are that are not the filet. So they're less popular parts, but they're so delicious. So you gotta check that out. But I'm gonna take you guys back to my house. Bye. Hey guys, so we're back here at my apartment and I'm gonna show you this fish. But first, let me tell you about my day yesterday. I showed you some of it, but the day started out rough and it ended rough too. <laughs> I live in a building, so I called my valet to bring my car down. And when I got there, they were like, hey, your car's not starting. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I grabbed all my gear, I ran to my car. Sure enough, it was not starting. I noticed that the gauges were kind of clicking every time I would put the key in the ignition. And so I keep a screwdriver in my car, so I just went to the battery and kind of knocked on the connections real quick and that solved it. So crisis averted. Then I start going, I have to pick up some sandwiches for the crew and I get like this detour, the bridge was up. So I was like, crap, I'm gonna be late. Of course, it's gonna be the only girl on the whole trip that's gonna be late. And then I get to Publix where we went to go, get, well, where I went to pick up the sandwiches that I had ordered the night before and the sandwiches weren't there. And I was like, what the heck? What's going on here? So I thought I was gonna be even more late with that, but luckily they found them in the back. So I got those, went out and I made it there in time. Thank God. <laughs> But yeah, then I got on the boat and it was a lot windier than we had expected. And I just got so seasick and I was just puking the entire day. I didn't film that for you guys. I don't think you would appreciate that. But yeah, I was not feeling well at all. But I managed to dive and, and I shot a yellow jack, which is one of my favorite fish ever. And I met up with these two guys from Turkey who are so cool. One's name is Burke, the other one's name is Swat. Swat has an incredible YouTube channel. He is a sport fisherman, he's a champion in Turkey, so you guys should check it out. I'll link it down below. All right guys, um, I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to prepare this delicious fish called yellow jack. First step is to butterfly the head so that you can press it down to lay it a little more flat while you're baking it. Then you wanna take a nice olive oil and drizzle it all over the head. Top it with your favorite salt, stick it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. Bake until it's fork tender and then you wanna put some lemon juice on top of it and it's ready to serve. Look at all of the meat that's in that head. Just pull the skin back and you'll see all of that juicy meat. <laughs> Look at this cheek. You never wanna forget about the cheeks. Look at how juicy that is. It's incredible. The obvious benefit of utilizing every part of the fish is that you can just make that many more meals out of it. You can use it for appetizers. You can make, you can use not only the fillets, you can use the head, you can use different organs, you can use the collar. There's so many different parts of the fish that are just so delicious and so underutilized. But in 2022, I know we're all trying to do our part to 
be more sustainable and we all want to see the fish population thrive. So here's to doing our part. I really hope you enjoy the head and I'll see you next time. Bye.